Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic University Management System. So let's see the requirements of this project. First, we require an ID for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require a text editor where we can write the code and run it. You may use any text editor, but I have used VS Code here. It's very convenient and sophisticated to use actually. Then an operating system will be required. Again, it depends on you which operating system you're working on. I have worked on Windows 10 here. Then there are certain libraries used in different projects as you have seen before. But here no external libraries are used and the header files used here are used to map, vector and string. The work of these header files we will be seeing when we'll be moving towards the project part. So now without much delay, we'll head towards the code. Here is our code. So I'll explain it to you, then I'll run it and show it to you and then you can get to know what this code actually looks like. Okay, so here first we have included the header files that is that stream, io stream, stdio.h and string.h. These are the standard header files that we include in every program where it, the header files work is destined to do. Then we have used the line that is using namespace std. Then we have the main function int main. First we have declared a character array which is of size 15, the size of the character array is 15. Then we have initialized some variables like n is equal to 0, option is equal to 0 and count n is equal to 0. So this is the initial mark which will be allotted to a subject that is empty, which is 0, 0. So initial mark that is allotted is empty and the proctor is null. Like in, uh, the proctor need to log in by using the name and the username and the passcode then we have this um, the file in which the database will be stored is the example.txt file this is a text file where we are going to save all our work then we have this line string line then uh, the this there is a for loop you can see which counts the total number of lines in the file like whatever we are going to store whatever we are going to write into the system it is going to be stored in a file format right so this line basically counts the total number of lines in the file then uh, while option is not equivalent to six that is this is also a while loop which will print out all the available options in the database so the available operations are add new students student login faculty login proctor login admin view and exit so you have to enter an option accordingly so if you select option one that is add new students you have to enter the number of students then uh, whatever you're going to work on it is going to be showcased on example.txt the entire data of the single student will be stored line by line in the file then you have to enter your registration number then you have to enter your name after which you have to enter your proctor id so this is what you are going to do for each and every new admitted students. They have to enter their registration number, their name and their proctor ID. If you select option 2, then you have to, uh, the option 2 was what? Option 2 was to student login. So here basically you need to login. So you have to enter your registration number and you will check in the example.txt file if that registration number is there, there or not. If it's not there, you can't log in, you can't log in into this. And if it is there, then well and good, the registration number, name, subject one mark, subject two mark, and the proctor ID would be displayed to you. If the registration number will not be found, it shows no such registration number found. Thank you. So uh, this, this is basically a loop which is used to view and add marks to the database of a student. If you select option three, it will ask you to enter your subject code. So code is equal to, there will be a, subject one quote will be subject two and um, the, here the available operations will be add data about marks view data and enter option if you have uh, not entered like if you select option one you have to add data about the mark if you are not adding anything it says warning you should you should have to add marks right and details of all other students again whatever the functionalities we are going to work on it's going to be visible on example.txt so 
then the subject code will be compared to the code which you have entered then you will be entering the mark of the student and after which you will be driven towards the example.txt file again then if you select option 2 again we will be opening this example.txt file and the registration number and marks will be displayed then we have option 4 where you have to enter your proctor id and you have to enter the registration number subject 1 mark and subject 2 mark to the database if no such proctor id will be found it says sorry this proctor id hasn't hasn't been found then uh, this is basically the admin view to see all the data in the file so this variable value can be changed according to the requirement of the administration password so the pa admin password will be admin a d m i n then all this uh, you can view all the data and you can make changes accordingly so now what I, am i going to do is you know the um, admin wala thing now it's admin and there was a subject one and subject two also the code so now let's do one thing now let's see if we can run it yes we can run so i have to add a student number of student is one registration number is one two three four five my name is simran proctor id is say 45 so let's do the student login registration number one two three four five so it says sub simran subject one mark here so it's basically i have not added anything that's why now let me have the admin view admin password is admin correct so these are the numbers that i have right this i entered right now then if i want to have a proctor login proctor id was what was my id 45 no uh, what did i enter mm, zero zero so it shows yes this are these are what it shows so First, what did I enter? 45. Okay, cool. I got it. So, 4 divided. So, this proctor ID is not found. Then, if I want to have a uh, student login again, my registration number was 12345. It shows somewhere. So, I guess I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.